I'm going to tell y'all why I don't wear panties. <laughs> panties are underpants, right? They're undergarments. <laughs> I was a stripper for most of my adult life. My underpants were my pants. So now mm. I don't want to wear them underpants. Mm. Like, you know? Over. Overpants. Yeah, yeah, over putting them I'm on. over underpants. You're so over under your pants. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we are so excited because... Okay, well, let me get started. It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Stephanie Santiago. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm L'Oreal. And we have a super extra, super duper special guest. Erica Alexander is here with us. Great to be here. Thank you so much. Great to have you. I didn't think she was really going to do this because she came on um, The Breakfast Club. (laughs) And I was like, you know, we got to get you on Lip Service. And I don't know if she really 100% knew. I I had no idea. Yeah. But but I'm glad to be here, actually. You know what I mean? I feel very brave. We are so excited to have you. (laughs) Yeah. We are. No, you guys are who I want to be, so I'll learn something. <laughs> no, we were hoping to learn some stuff from you. Oh, yeah. Good, mm-hmm. oh, well, oh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so, Erica, I mean, you've had such an illustrious career. Oh, thank you. As an actor, producer, everything that you've been doing. Of course, everybody was excited that you were coming in here. Cousin Pam, Maxine from Living Maxine Single. Maxine Shaw, attorney at law. Yeah. Good for her. <laughs> <laughs> Made a lot of women want to become attorneys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I still watch, I watch Living Single. Listen, I watch it in the morning. The, it comes on in the morning right now. I watch it in the morning. It comes on, on at night. Yes, yeah, so you watch in the morning. it? No. I, 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 I got my daughter. I, I have a 21-year-old daughter. I got her watching it. She loves it. Gigi, the fact that you say 21 daughter is to me fabulous. No, I, no, no. The reason I don't watch it is um, when I catch it, I'm really happy to see it. I, I'll, I'll let you know. I mean, but I think I was telling you on The Breakfast Club that uh, we didn't get to watch it as we were doing it all those years because we filmed on the same night that it would play. Mm-hmm. And oh. the people did have VHS and you could record it, mm-hmm. but you, most likely you didn't. And by right. the time the network gave us all of the tapes, it just seemed like it was a tremendous strain to look at five years of you oh. know shows. And by that okay. time we were moving DVD, the t- yeah. CDs and all this did other stuff. Did you guys film in front of a live studio audience? We did, we did. It was like doing a live play every, every week. Every day. That's wow. awesome. Every oh, week. That's every four real days. acting. That's really amazing. Well, you know, amazing. it's certainly discipline and you had to have your memory, you know, really, you know, sort of geared up. And when you come out of high school, which most of us were coming out of high school, you, you're at, your brain actually functions that way because you're used to memorizing test answers and mm-hmm. all that. So Again, it's not a such a later. big deal. It's just when you get older that that skill set you have right. kind of goes away and you might panic a bit. But the truth is it can be built up like a muscle. Especially when you smoke. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Sometimes we're in the middle that. of a conversation, and I'm like, "Wait, we were, what, what were we talking about all the time?" time. I pick up my phone. I'd be like, "Who was I about to call?" All the time. I'd be having to open, open my phone, phone right here. Like, where is my phone? Like all kind of stuff it's in my hand. Like, yeah, it do be in your hand. <laughs> all right. So, did you have a lot of groupies? Because I'm so <laughs> sure that back, you know, and even now, because everybody's always excited to see you, but. When everything was happening, did you have like a lot of dudes trying to holler at you just to get some clout? You know, I'd love to say that that was the case. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. And you know, I wonder about that now. Looking back, I think I'm relieved, but I don't think I gave out that vibe at all. You know, some people think that you can play a character and the person equates the character to you. So they like Max and they like her, you know, her (laughs) strongness and all that. But then when they see you, they're not sure how to take you. And I Mm -hmm. think they were very afraid of Max. Right. Mm -hmm. They were very afraid of her dark skin, her, you know, her, her locks, all that. So when they see me, that's what they give me, sort of just like a little space and how are you doing? And so I didn't get asked on dates at all. Mm -hmm. I didn't get proposed to nobody. Well, you did get married though. I got married. I did. How did, know, how did he approach you? Nobody, right. Well, you know, but I got married to the second man I ever dated. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, because I didn't date either. I'm a preacher's daughter, and sometimes you also take in, you know, I'm not very religious and wasn't then, mm-hmm. but sometimes what you do is you take in sort of a, a thing about sex and a promiscuous that it's going to kill your dreams and even kill you. I grew up in the 80s where you not you weren't getting venerities. You were going to die from AIDS. Oh, Lord. And then mm-hmm. all the girls that went to school, because I went to a school for girls, a high school for girls in Philadelphia, that uh, if you got pregnant at all or you got hemmed up with some man, it would absolutely divert you from the thing that they were training you for, which was to go into the world and make a difference. So you avoided sex Mm -hmm. and men like it was the plague. How did you learn about sex then? You know, my mother gave me a book and gave us all a book when we were younger and really showed us the mechanisms. I mean, it really didn't, I so I didn't have any, you know, I knew what sex was all about, but I didn't know what sexuality was about Mm -hmm. and um, sort of giving yourself over to it and enjoying it. That, I think I learned like a lot of people off of looking at movies and films and TV and 
women talking about. I look at the housewives now. I mean, I, I don't look at it all the time, but sometimes I'm so fascinated by mm -hmm. them and their their ability to be free like that. Right. There was no way that I could feel free enough to talk about half the things that they are just doing and not feel and this is with no disrespect, like a whore. Right. And that's what lip service is kind of about. This mm -hmm. podcast is kind of like we gotta have these discussions about sex because men are having sex, they can discuss it, it's not a problem. Women should be able to do the same thing. Now, let me ask you this though, since we're talking about learning about sex, do you remember the first time ever seeing like a porn? Um, I remember the first time I saw a porn. Me too. Me too. I do too. <laughs> when you say porn, does it have to be paper and or like a porn movie, like action movie? Well, something that affected you, because I remember my first time seeing a porn movie. My parents had them like wow. hidden in the house on VHS. And I remember <laughs> me and my brother was looking through everything. You know how you go through all your parents' stuff? And we put the tape in. Mm -hmm. I can't even remember. Oh, man, I wish I could remember the name of the movie. What if it was your parents having sex? No, it wasn't. That would have been oh, no, devastating. Be it, was not, oh, it was a movie. Oh, my God. But they was putting tapes. They recorded on tapes back in the day, right? Like VHS. They did not have a video camera. Well, my parents would have been oh, using Polaroids. Sorry. Or <laughs> Polaroids. Well, certainly would have been happening. You know, the thing that affected me was my father, who I say was a preacher. I found some uh, Playboy magazines in the car. That's mm. porn. And if, mm. well, it affected me because I would have gotten beaten for it. Right. And there was this man that, again, was preaching the sort of piousness and then to find this. And, and it was, oh, wow. it was, it was effect, yeah, yeah, it affected me. It sort of was telling me that he wasn't who he said he wasn't true. Mm. So, yeah, it wasn't true. Right. I didn't know what to do with that at the moment, but I was just sort of saying, you're telling us, you know, he used to say, keep your panties up, keep your dilly dillies in your pants. You know, <laughs> that was his advice mm -hmm. to us. But then here was all this, all you know, craziness. You know, people splitting magazines. their clitoris open and all that. Oh my god! Yeah, showing the pink. Well, it was a shock. So that was effective. By the time my yeah. first boyfriend, who was a really great guy, and I have to say, was very gentle with me and and um, and very encouraging. Mm -hmm. You'd always say, "Oh no, Erica, you're sexy. No, you know what you're doing. Yeah, oh, you're good at everything." You know, <laughs> you didn't know what you were get doing. it, girl. I know what yeah. I was doing. <laughs> but he really yeah. made me feel good. No, that doesn't hurt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he showed me that he had porn, and 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 I was like, "Oh, okay." But because it was around him, mm -hmm. it seemed like something that was a stimulant, right? Not that it was anything that. Was so that was the weird. first time you were affected sexually um, to porn. But the first time you saw porn, it affected you in a negative way. Like what? What is this? Mm, yeah, right. yeah, because again, they make everything around uh, having sex or being sexual at all like you're a demon. Bad. And mm -hmm. then to suddenly feel like, I mean, we couldn't even listen to secular music. He would say, oh, you're going to go to hell and all that. Oh, I mean, wow. all the stuff you hear is stereotype. That's what we get. But then he would sing like Sam Cooke and he had a great voice and he would dance. But when it was a, when it was, he would flip the script and it would become complicated when somebody would try to play both sides and be a hypocrite. And that's hypocritical. Right. Was it different mm -hmm. for your brother than it was like for the, the girls in the family? Because yes. I know they treat the guys different. Yes. And in fact, um, they were totally different. Um, you know, we had such a weird differentiation between boy and girl that my father would buy the girls' baby roost and the boys' butterfinger. Oh, and wow. And we'd get pot pies and the girls would only get chicken and the boys would get beef. What? You know, yeah. Wow. yeah it was like... Yeah, boys needed beef and girls get got chicken and we got smaller, I mean and smaller portions. Yeah, and, and, and wow. more dainty things. More dainty things. But not only that, that if the better things would go to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, and it made me for a long time. I mean, I hung around men because I thought they have all the good stuff. Right. And to this day I feel maybe probably a little bit more comfortable around men, but I've been around so many strong women now right. that I feel okay, no, no, I have I, I know where I am. Those are my people. And that's crazy because totally. then you were on the show like Lemon Single where it's like Queen Latifah who's yeah. a strong, you know, woman in mm -hmm. the industry. And the women are comfortable around the exactly. men. Exactly. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And that's, that's yeah. what's crazy own. because that's like the total opposite of how you grew up. Yeah. Because y'all were the dominant in the show. You Absolutely. Know? And, uh, you were the dominant. Yeah. You were the dominant no, the women show. were the dominant <laughs> you characters. Were, the guys right. were kind of like... Thank you. Were, mm -hmm. <laughs> they kinda Y'all kind of played the guys out a lot. Like, you played Kyle out all the time. <laughs> um, Overton, uh, Overton. No, he was. Well, she was. That was different. Sinclair or Overton. But they were everybody so that um, that that Khadija dated is she always. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Would always be the dominant one too. That's true. So it's crazy how it's extremely different from your life, but you played it so well. Well, that's mm -hmm. why it's a great fantasy to become an actress to be all the things that you weren't allowed to be. Mm -hmm. right. In fact, 
you, it was always in you to be these things, but here somebody's writing it for you, giving permission to go and do it. And in fact, it. the thing that you're seeing that I think works so well, because chemistry, when we talked about this, I said it's hard to find. And when you find it, you should cherish it because not everybody fits together. You have to find balance. Mm -hmm. But it came from the individuality. It was different from Dana, who grew up with a, professor, I mean, uh, a teacher mother. Right. God bless her, she just passed. And um, her father, who was a police officer, she's probably the most middle class of us all. Mm -hmm. And yet she was representing you know, the street. Mm -hmm. And I come and I grew up, I, I said, in a hotel called Starlight off of Route 66. And we were dumpster diving for cans mm -hmm. and jumping in. And that's how we made our money. Mm -hmm. And, you know, knocking on doors, asking for jobs, you know, taking out people's trash, Whoa. cleaning the McMillan building, the, the army bases. That's who we were. Eric Bellinger just right. walked in. Apologies, you apologies. Hero. Yes. What the hell? Eric, Eric and Erica. Erica. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Nice Let me get this jerk up. Erica. Oh, oh, I know who you are. Right? Yeah, oh you do not need to introduce yourself. No introduction <laughs> needed. Everybody I'm sorry, knows who you are. You just blew in from the art. This right. big old bottle. <laughs> the big old bottle. You just walked in with? Yes, I see the big old bottle. You just walked in with. I'm from LA. Hey, me too. It's huge. That's the biggest bottle of tequila that I've seen this week. I wanted to make sure I made it. Right. We were with a huge party. bottle. Eric, before you got here, we were just talking about like our views on sex growing up, and Eric oh, I was talking you. about that also. <laughs> Okay. They both need another drink. I see yours getting well, a You know, up. I'm sucking on the ice. I'm going to do it. Oh. <laughs> she needs some, some more. She's got some we some like lemonade. people that suck. Some, some lemonade. Sweeten it up a little bit. <laughs> oh, Hold on. We can, pause for, we can pause for I a second it. while we get this. I couldn't help it. All right. So now that Eric Bellinger is here, we got Eric Bellinger. We got Erica Alexander here. Yeah. We were just talking about like how we grew up thinking about sex. And, you know, as women, I think it's different how we're taught about sex as it is for men. So do you remember the first time you learned about sex? I think it's different for women. I think it's different for men. I think it's different for Christians. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I grew up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Awesome. What you say? That's what she was saying. I just yeah. was, was just saying. The Eric, same we thing. vibing here. We were meant to be together. I felt it. We were meant to be together. It was. It wasn't even. A, it wasn't even a talk. Thank you. You know, um, that birds and the bees talk, quote unquote. My parents uh, never taught me about sex. <laughs> they didn't even get around to it. <laughs> I'm like, it just I'm like, you supposed to at least tell me something. You know what I mean? But now. You know, growing up and, you know, having a son of my own and being in the, the real vibe of what it is, and especially now what it's progressed to over the years from even back then, now it's thrown around so loosely that it's like, mm -hmm. you got to say something quick. My right. son, three, I'm like, fam, check this out. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's too young. <laughs> no, 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 but I'm just saying, like, I just feel like it's better to know, you feel me, just so that you're aware because it was so forbidden that I feel like that kind of harmed me a little bit. Right. In a sense. That's right. You can't act like things are so taboo because it makes you kind of weird about it later on in life. Exactly. Do you remember the first time you had sex? For sure. You remember, Erica, what that was like? Yes, I do. I do. I, again, that was my first boyfriend, and he was very kind. And, you he know, was kind. Fact, he was kind. He was encouraging, and, and it didn't feel like the first time I had sex because he'd already touched me in a gentle way. Mm -hmm. And so him sticking it in, it was deep for me because my father was a preacher. So I think No pun in, intended. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> I was wondering. I was going to let it go because then we said I'd do too much with that. Lord, oh, my God. I'm here. Me. I'm not letting it go. Let, let it go. No, no, no. So we have a lyricist in the room. I had to let that one go. Like, you know, he's going to provide <laughs> meaning to everything I say. Sucks. Let's have some fun. Yo, this is this sucks. I actually don't like him here. Go. <laughs> Does it suck now? Uh, I was going to let it slide. I can't say anything. <laughs> he was going to let it slide. <laughs> but, uh, you know, yeah. uh, it, it, but I think I was, after, and I'd say after that point, I was feeling guilty because I had, um, uh, I had disappointed God's, um, expectation of me mm -hmm. and I beat myself up over it I started to have panic attacks I started mm. to uh, ask myself um, uh, beg for forgiveness but still do it and then I realized I can't be a hypocrite because of what I said told you earlier my father I thought was so I told myself that I was going to give up religion in that way because I thought if I'm going to hell then a lot of people are. Yeah, we all are everybody. we all are mm -hmm. and I'd yeah. rather be truthful to who I am and say well if he's going to put send me to hell for for giving love and you know and receiving it, then I guess I'm hell bound. But I'm telling you that was always that was all during the Gulf War years, and a lot of things were very existential, mm -hmm. and I was feeling very vulnerable. 
and uh, you you think about your soul in those times mm. and in the afterlife and so to me sex wasn't just sex it was who you were going to be and who god thought you were mm. Mm. what was your first how do you time feel like about that now oh me yeah how do you feel oh, I'm about over that it. now I'm she's over it. It. <laughs> 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 Pass the gin and juice. Yeah. I mean, you know what do you want? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> gin and juice. First of all, I don't think he should yeah, sit no, next to me because no, we no, too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Golden rule. Golden rule. Uh, Dollface. Literally, I think I believe that you um, that you. It's karmic, and that I don't believe that that's what it was meant to to do was to punish us. Right. And then I think that you punish yourself if you give. Um, so liberally that you don't respect yourself. That's different. Right. But if you're giving, you know what you're doing and the person's accepting and it's, uh, you know, and it's reciprocal. Respectful. Yeah. yeah. Then God bless you. And, and you know, and, 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 and you nothing can still bad be can in come God's grace. Hey. Right? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Because we all go to hell in this room. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm going to hell. Yeah. Stephanie, you're exactly yeah, right. Exactly. I, 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 said, I, Eric, I think your... even though I've had a baby without getting married and, you know, I've done a lot of things that you know probably the bible wouldn't agree with in my lifetime but i still think i'm going to heaven i still think i'm in god's Please grace ask for forgiveness i don't and i don't continue to sin i don't you know i try we sin every day a little dick never hurt nobody never. i do oh. 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 <laughs> depending on no, how big it was all right yeah. up Yes. Please, it yes. Up. I mean, what do you want? No, I mean, I, I, I sin, I smoke, I smoke, I mean, right? You're That's right, right though. Eric, you remember your first time? I smoke. Yeah. What back was that like? vibes. It was backseat vibes. <laughs> backseat wow. Was it her first time? I hope not. Oh, yeah. well, no, she was a little older than me, but, you know, I was, I was really into, I'm going to wait until I get married vibe. Mm. That was what I was on. That was your vibe? That was my vibe. She was a senior, though. So how did she talk you over? Was like it? So you yeah. was three because you just said your son got to talk. No, no. Nah, nah. So look, she was a senior. She was a senior. She was like, you know, it was prom. Mm. And I was like, man, you know what she got me with? What? We gonna get married anyway. Uh, yeah. uh, she games you. What in the she boys did. in the hood? She she trained you. Me. Wait, what? What grade were you in? I was 11th grade. She was a senior. Okay, okay. She was a year ahead of me. She was about to leave I got nervous. She was about to leave That's 16 years old. That's not, not bad at all. So, yeah, she was I mean, it was is she bad. a virgin? It is bad, but it's Clearly not. not because she was like, we going to get married No, she wasn't. She was. 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 Okay. It was like, we going to get married anyway. We was We was in love. You feel me? At 16 and 17, it was our version of love. That's sweet. So, it was like, all right, you right. We going to get married. How long did that last? That's sweet. After I had sex, it was it over. Was, uh, I knew it. Was, uh, it it, 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 it didn't work out. And I don't <laughs> I know why. But <laughs> I think we broke up for some for a crazy week. But we were so we were so young. Like it was like our parents broke us up for us. You know, mm. so it was crazy. They didn't want you guys together. <laughs> it was yeah, because they found out about all they kind of crazy stuff to the point where my mom was like, "Yo, he's not good to be around your daughter." And her mom was like. She's not good to be around your son. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it was crazy. I know. It was loose. Mm -hmm. you no, I'm joking. I know. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. Right. It was crazy. I don't I think, my first time having sex, I don't think we did it right. I think we were just like hunching. And then I think he came and I was just like, <laughs> yeah, we both put it in. Yeah, we were both virgins. <laughs> That's cute, G. I, I, I don't think we did it. We were both virgins. Yeah. And yeah. I don't think we really did it. Like to this day, my first time having sex was so. <laughs> was so we were still bad. virgins when we finished. Yeah, <laughs> we, yeah. I don't think we really did it. Have sex again. We attempted, but I don't think it really worked. No, and mine then, was so bad. I didn't have sex for two years after that. Ooh, it was that bad because I was like, "This is terrible." Yeah, Why do people I didn't like have this? a good time my yeah. first time. Did it hurt? Is that what you? It mean? hurt and it was quick, and then I bled, and then I felt mad different after. I was like, I remember walking around like I'm not a virgin anymore. I don't know. And then no, I, you know I think I lost my it. virginity to a, a bicycle seat that was missing. See? Oh, I'm not see? kidding you. Oh, when I was young, I no, hit a bump. No. I just realized this, buckle, this, this gin and juice is bringing out a lot of things. <laughs> I was on a bike and I was going up a hill and went, uh, and it was that bicycle seat with no... <laughs> Just oh, the pole, so the pole yeah. and it went down, and I bled like a dog. Oh my god! Oh. I sure did, and that's like an injury. Took me no, to the doctors. Painful. 
And I remember my father pacing and not letting my feet touch the floor and um, them looking and, and yeah, and uh, and then I had to sit on maxi pads. Oh. Wow, I haven't thought of this in a long time. Maxi pads and oh he God. would have the kids come and play in front of me oh. so I wouldn't have to move. Oh, oh this is how awful. Are you? Uh, I think I was about, it's probably about seven or eight. But that's oh. not. Uh, yeah, good time. She that's probably messed up her hymen. You probably yeah, she yeah, broke her yeah, hymen, yeah, for yeah. sure. Or you yeah, might have helped it out. You might have made your hymen. Yeah, yeah, that was more than breaking your hymen. <laughs> yeah, you know, I only had a little bit of blood. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to sit up. But we got this for my I broke her hymen. After we fake had sex, and I thought we, like, you know, we thought we had sex and we didn't, we stopped talking. He stopped talking to me for whatever reason. And I called him, like, I'm pregnant. I wasn't pregnant. Oh, oh my God. God. Because he I had stopped talking to me. me. So I think you after y'all hung out, that. That he told me, I, if I told him I was pregnant, that he would want to that. talk to me. You I can't do pregnant. that fake pregnant thing. I was like 14. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm not going to lie. You are so lame for that, G. <laughs> he was like, wait, did you, I didn't did even you put really it in. think you were pregnant? I knew I wasn't no, pregnant. She just oh, was saying I just was trying to get him to talk to me because he wasn't talking to me. You see his early connection right here? Yeah, I'm from Philly. No, no, no. I had you know. You told him you lost My sisters went to girl's high. My two my really? two younger sisters with the both oh, of them. Oh, well, the that, to time. give them my love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You told, you told <laughs> my sisters now. You told them, did you, did you tell me you lose it? Because that happened to me too. Somebody told me I was pregnant before. Did well, you tell them you lost it? No, nah, he knew I wasn't pregnant. Oh, he didn't oh, put it in. baby, Gigi. Somebody told you <laughs> they lost the baby? Yeah, man. That's awful. How do you know it wasn't true? I just didn't believe it from jump. Yeah, yeah. it was probably a lie. It probably was a lie. <laughs> I didn't she believe it, so I was attached, but I wasn't attached. And then when you ain't giving the abortion money, she was like, all right, I lost it. All right, and there, there's no Yeah, and then that was it, and it was just like. What, did you come you inside know, her? Day, girls used to do that abortion swindle all the time. You they would know. tell a guy that they was pregnant to get little $400 I, out of him. Oh, I did know a couple guys. You had a condom though, on, you know. he said. That's it. I, had, I think that's you why, you know what? I think that's why for the rest of my life, I was always paranoid, even with condoms. Mm-hmm. It's always because I remember she and told me she was happen. pregnant. Wait, you're that guy that uh pull out even that's with a condom on? Nah, I not when it's on. I know, I know a guy. guy. No, no, I know a guy that's so terrible. But I feel like that. I'm the person he, after, like you said, after even you paranoid. Even if he's wearing a condom, he'll still pull out. You know what I'm saying? After when you said it. younger, you felt like you felt bad about it. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what I. After I just be paranoid, like oh shit. She said she has twins. I guarantee you. Oh, my God. Wow. You know, like, like, when I lost my virginity, like, I was with the guy. He was more experienced than me. And um, I didn't like him anymore after. Mm-hmm. It was weird because, like, I didn't like it. It just wasn't. Like, That's how I was. It wasn't I told for me. You I had sex once. Yeah, we and broke And then I up. was like, I'm not doing this. This Mm-mm. is whack. I was cool. He started, like, being weird and, like, popping up to my house and, like, leaving teddy bears at my door. Because, like, I wouldn't answer yeah, his yeah. phone calls. Like, I just felt disgusted. I don't know what it was, but I did not like him no more. He couldn't touch me. Nothing. I was like, stay the f- away from me. And See, I like, had dated. He lived around the corner from me. I dated him for, like, three years. And so he would always try to have sex with me. And I'd be like, no, no, no. Right before he was about to put it in, I'd be like, I changed my mind. I can't do it. Oh, you was a tease. I just was nervous. <laughs> was I wanted, yeah. So then one day he just put it in anyway. <gasps> that oh, that's rape. rape. Kind of. <laughs> What's his name? No, was like, What's his that name? Was What's the limit of st- statue of limitations? <laughs> well, he's no Wait, longer alive. Oh, 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 never mind. Damn, yeah, you just turned this. To the left, to the left. You got him shot? <laughs> no, he died oh. in like a motorcycle accident or something. Yeah. Mm. Oh, man. But anyway, yeah, Christ. so. No. I know. And I found out on Facebook. But oh. anyway, so I would be like, no, 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 don't do it. And then I'd be like, okay, I'm going to do it. No, 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 don't do it. And then. This one day, he just put it in. Give me that pussy. And it was oh. mad quick, and it was over. And I was like, this is terrible. <laughs> oh, again, I'm cute. Again. Yeah, it was yeah. so bad. I was like, this uh, is awful. What? What? He got a question. <laughs> All right. Have you... Uh, this... Come on, go, go. You want to hear it? I'm excited. I'm try it from Compton. I know, but it's like... <laughs> and it's happened in Compton, right in yes. the heart. Right in the heart. I just remember <laughs> a first-time situation... And it was a first time situation, right? And <laughs> come on with it, come on with it. I'm dying. We it better be juicy. After oh, this like, long dramatic was, pause, it was, it was too juicy. That's my point. That's, okay, okay, let's go, let's go. It was too juicy. I got up at the end of the evening. 
Turned on the light. And it was blood. <laughs> oh, that kind of juicy. Crime scene. Oh, my gosh. It wait, she like was a virgin? Had... Wait, wait. She really? was a virgin? Was it, it, was a, it was her first time her or you guys' first time? It was her period or it no, was, but was wait, she a virgin? No, first time. What's going on? Oh, she was a virgin. First time. So give me the... Uh, she was a virgin. So he made her. So yeah, yeah, give me that. Give me that. The normal. No, like for me, me when I lost my virginity, when I lost my virginity, everybody's different. When I lost my virginity, we've spoken about this before. I had an experience like Erica's. I had a guy who loved me a lot. He was very gentle and encouraging. It didn't hurt. It was it was good. It was nice. I really Mm -hmm. liked it. But then. Angela got raped her first time. And she <laughs> <blessed>. <laughs> I didn't believe my first time, but I think it's because Everybody I was about to get my life, and I normal. think that That's I normal. had already stretched my. <laughs> sh- so but it was not <laughs> it was for three years. Was broken. I don't know. <laughs> but everybody, you were a dan- Gigi's a dancer, so she yeah. probably been broke her hymen. That's what I just said. You, did you bleed? Well, I didn't you... bleed. I, I don't wait a minute. That doesn't I didn't sound bleed like hymen like blood. That sounds like it's yeah. period. That's yeah. Period. Yeah. She probably uh, did she not? You think that's that was a No, no, no. But listen, no. I have, I have a girl. My one, my best friend. She lost her virginity. Maybe that was a lie. She lost her virginity to an older man, and he was very well endowed. That's how you say it. Yeah. And. Um, and he, um, <laughs> come look at you like. And she said that what you packing she down bled there? I mean, so bad they had to buy a new mattress. Like she oh. bled. Oh my crazy. god, they had to buy a new mattress. Who paid for that? Like she bled so like bad, massacre. like the way you said. Like, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. saying. So and, and, was and her, I asked this her. This show was supposed to curse. She's my best said. friend. Yeah. She's this my best right. friend. We've since never got this far with the blood and stuff. Like this is. I've never been like this before. I'm telling you. She said we're supposed to be encouraging women to have sex. Let's change gears for a second. Erica, do you use lingerie in the awful. bedroom? Yeah, yeah, lingerie. lingerie. You want to talk about lingerie and blood? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Forget right. the blood. No more blood. Okay. No more blood. Okay. Let's go to the lingerie. Please. Because we I'm were having scared. a discussion uh, <laughs> about lingerie and when it's do you Eric's pull out the lingerie <laughs> and use it. So do you ever? Yes. Yes. I believe that men are very visual creatures, mm-hmm. and I think that you present them something, uh, you know, tantalizing. And it makes me feel good to do it. If my stomach's not sticking out too much, <laughs> Yo, <laughs> she feels I love her. If yes. I have yes. a burden yes. that night, <laughs> Erica, if let's I have it, is what it is, yeah. and I suck it in. Yeah. I mean, what do you want? I mean, you got to eat the highways, low, high waist, low, high waist, low, good. You got to fast for that lingerie that night, honey. I got to dig in two days to put this. <laughs> but you guys pay attention. I'm Eric, fasting and I'm gonna be fast. Eric, you guys pay attention to that because I know we're very self conscious about how we look. Mm-hmm. But does it matter to y'all really? <sighs> you know, is it a pussy attached? Mm-hmm. To I don't think so. I don't think it matters because mm-hmm. you know. As long as you're not bleeding. I'm not. Yeah, I'm but not. again, I feel like again, I this I think, we I think it maybe a help. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like I maybe like less of a percentage than, than y'all you. think. No, you know I'm I saying? feel like if we over there, it's probably, you know, you got to still factor in chemistry vibe. You got to, you know, all that. too. I feel like guys don't care about lingerie until they care about lingerie. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. everything is normal. Everything is fine. But wait, why? Why don't you wear lingerie for me? Now I want you to wear lingerie. You I know never I mean? wear lingerie. And That's I what I don't wear. I just go straight I, to being nude. Why are you buying it if you're not wearing it? I don't buy she it. She doesn't buy it. She says she don't Somebody wear it. Somebody gives it to you. I don't even you. wear underwear. The yeah. lingerie, lingerie ain't yeah. you know, fairy right. drops I, it off. I mean, I never wear it. Who's buying it? For I only you? wear bras because I have My to. Boyfriend. So. I feel like it's Why a little bit more. Like, no, what time like, to be respected on in the, public? The, the current, the current, because I don't need it. my current boyfriend, <laughs> the guy I've been dating for it's a, a while, like, right when now, I first like, got with him, right I want to get back to that. Okay, I'm sorry. don't you go anywhere. Look, like, I, I had said, <laughs> wait, I said, when do you decide to put it on? And he's commenting on it. Like, this is how at what time do you be like, all right, lingerie time? And then you run in the bathroom. I mean, it's a multiple number. I feel like I'm getting into it. No, I think it's I think it's kind of fire when you wear the lingerie on do your regular clothes and then okay you know you start and right. it's like oh mm-hmm. what that is that okay so and I then it, it becomes like a present like oh okay and then that goes off to really different. fast but you know when people be like i'm gonna go put something sex no i think it's like a, Listen, i think it's like when a, i go slip into something more comfortable i'm gonna go put on some shoes uh, and I'm still you know, I don't do that either. <laughs> no, let me tell I'm you. When I first when I first got with the guy that I'm dating now, he um he used to get excited when I would come and I would be wearing a pair of pants with no panties on. Mm-hmm. He would get so excited. And that didn't that. chafe. 
<laughs> listen, listen. He didn't understand the sacrifice. No, I just let listen. Yo, let yo, let. No, the so, yeast infection. So you know, later on in the relationship, you know, I just felt like moving on and wearing panties more Absolutely. often. Like I didn't care if it excited him anymore. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. right? And Gigi doesn't wear a panty. No. <laughs> But so, Gigi. More yeah. than I wanted Penny to know. So, more than I, I, I appreciate that. You know, <laughs> hey, no, I have juices, no, so, so I wear panties. No, but and now I wear panty liners. Wet. No, but now <laughs> now <laughs> I wear <laughs> panties, and he's even more excited I about it. Like I he, like panties. He, he I like likes panties it. Too. Like when I'm when I'm not wearing panties. Like if I'm wearing a pair of tights with no panties, and I go to him, he's like, "Why are you not wearing panties?" Right. You know, when before it was like, oh, you're not wearing panties. I would hate for my man but, to not be wearing his panties. But now when I <laughs> now when I show up, Look it's commander. like he's looking in he's looking in to see what Tell panties I'm wearing that Eric, day. Eric, are you, you wearing know? panties? Definitely. <laughs> oh, definitely. Oh. Do you wear <laughs> panties? Do you always Boxes wear panties? Boxes or briefs. Yeah, always. Always. Boxer uh, briefs. Boxer briefs. Boxer briefs. I wanna yeah, know, he like, looks like a boxer, boxer briefs. And, but what and what <laughs> when do you not wear panties? Uh maybe when I'm doing yoga. Okay. Oh, wow. oh, you just that's let the downward that's dog. Just okay. You know, that's that's just let we just learned that Eric okay. does yoga. Hey, and he yoga likes yoga to let it swing no when he's doing yoga. Downward dog. <laughs> Swinging downward dog. <laughs> Eric Swing. Swinging Richard. Now I'm a stay. Now I'm a stay. I don't want to feel calm. Now I'm a stay. Now I'm a stay. Now I'm a stay. I like to be comfortable, but normally, you know, I'm, it's, it's always, it's definitely, you know. I hope you're not wearing not, shorts. You might not like, catch me. Yeah, balls. there's all sorts of stuff falling out. A, the balls yeah, fall on the mat. I definitely want but, my mat behind you. <laughs> I want to have a crick in my and neck the whole time. No, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, and for women, I feel like, uh, yeah, definitely have them all. Isn't it awkward though to <laughs> no, not, I hate them. To not, not wear underwear? Because for guys, I, I feel like your balls be stuck Why to like them? your thighs and stuff. If you don't, yeah, stop. bat, yeah, that bat wings. Right? Yeah, bat oh, wings. you talking about the other ones? The t- the- you know, like if you don't have on underwear, your balls so they don't stick to your thigh. With the boxers? No, without no, them. No, with nothing on. Oh, see, I don't. That's your what ball. I'm saying. That's uncomfortable. <laughs> then a the whole day when you zipping up your pants, you're like, <clears throat> you know. You got to be uh, careful, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah you got to get your oh, ball stuck in a zipper. What movie was that? Uh, that happened Pie, to my think, dad. American something, Pie. yeah, he zipped his shit. That's a get, that's a second um something, something about, about Mary something about Mary. Mary. That's two. Okay. That's two. Yeah, but that's imagine crazy. zipping that's your real. dick up you gotta, yeah, yeah, it's like, oh. Something about Mary was a really great movie. Like, I really like that movie. Crazy. <laughs> I don't even want a chance. Now man. for Eric and Erica, you guys both now Erica, you were married to a man who's uh creative. Yes. And Eric, you are also married to a woman who's creative. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's my friend, Lamaya. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, do you think you could be with somebody that was like completely the opposite from you? Ah uh, man, I've tried everything. So where we want to go with it? <laughs> because um, you know, being with a woman that isn't in it, it's tough for them to understand mm-hmm. what it is. You know, um, with Amaya, she had so much experience, and she kind of just encouraged me. You know, she encourages me like, go, 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 even more than I want to. I'm naturally trying to be home. Cause I have a family. I got a little son that's three years old, so I don't want to spend a second away from him, you know. But when it's time to work, and I'm like, ah, I gotta go again. I gotta go. She's like, just go, live your best life, have fun, you know. Cause you never know, you know what I mean? Like the moment could be gone, you know. So just enjoy it, and you know, cause for her, she's like, I did it, and I'm not doing it anymore. So just live. She pushes me and encourages me with it. So. It yeah. works and for she her. she understands nice. it. But yeah, a lot, yeah, she that. understands it completely, you know. And for the girls that don't get it, oh, man, it's just tough. It's like they thinking negative all the time. They thinking so much is going down at the studio. They thinking, you know, it's strippers. You know what I mean? Like sometimes, girls, though, Just sometimes. girls just be thinking they the do, worst. They do be, though. be some strippers up <laughs> like, yeah, 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 do. Okay, yeah. see, so. It has been. But so, no, but... To just to just have somebody that understands is just totally different than because right. then you got to deal with the nagging and the arguments, which probably is going in the relationship at yeah. some point anyway. Now, Erica, what about you? You were married for how long? Almost twenty years. Almost wow. twenty years. Yeah. you recently got divorced. Well, yes, I'm in the process of divorcing. It's it, it's uh, 
probably one of the things that's been very difficult for me. Right. Yeah. But I do feel like you've been going really hard because you have your own uh, production company, media company that's that right. you're launching. That's right. And he's also still my creative partner on the Comic Book Concrete Park. I mean, he just didn't get along. Mm -hmm. I tell people it's very simple. We just didn't get along. And we hadn't ever really gotten along as well as we needed to to create a relationship. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we were talking about, about understanding is there's a certain understanding around people who are artists or let's say free spirits. Mm -hmm. I think free spirits meaning entrepreneurs who are sort of ordering the world in the way that they're hoping and shaping their, uh, you could say, brand or their goals to be, you kind of have to, you're not in a rigid system. Mm -hmm. So often their schedules are bizarre and their alliances and their friends seem, you know, could seem shady to you, but you're flying blind and you need somebody who understands that most artists really who are successful at all have great discipline. Mm -hmm. They have great work ethic and they are moving towards something in a way that's zigzaggy. But it doesn't mean that there's anything inauthentic to it or wrong or, oh, you have to watch out for that person. There's a lot of distrust that comes from people who are used to rigid systems where they go in nine to five and then they shut off at the end. But that's not an artist. An artist is thinking probably about that lyric and that song right then and there. And they need to, let me call that person. Mm -hmm. And you're sort of signing up for that. Mm -hmm. Not sort of. You are, And you are signing up for that. Mm -hmm. So I think what happens is you're trying to find people who don't see themselves inside of your career as being... Um, um, uh, like less than, right? And they can they they have enough strength inside themselves to see that if anything, you're running very hard towards something that you you can never hit. You're like going like this mm -hmm. and running as fast as you can, mm -hmm. and as long as you can before you burn out. And I think that that takes tremendous courage for a person to enter a relationship like that. And I don't know if it's a a thing about creativity, um, because I think that artists need to be around people who are creative. But if you're in the financial system, you can be creative. Right. You can be somebody that's open to whimsy or, uh, you know, destiny. But you have to also, most, again, people like David Bowie and all these people, they are business people. Mm -hmm. They're doing business. <laughs> and sometime with huge companies and people's um, whole lives uh, leveraged against whether they do good or bad. That show must do good because it's got 20 people it's feeding. Right. So I, I, I think that when people understand that and they don't see you as, well, you know, you're doing this and this, that's not a joke just because I don't work at the post office mm. and you don't get it. But if they get it, then they fall. And when I say fall in line, meaning they know their place. And when I say their place is at, at the top as a priority, mm -hmm. but it's not necessarily in something that fits within the realm of um, uh, something that's like stamped out in a pattern. You know, it's interesting. You said you guys were together for 20 years, but never really got along like that. Yeah. So how did it last that long? Res I, well, I told you I was had a religious background. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a loyalist. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I have great loyalty. And I think that once I'm a friend, I'm usually a friend forever. But I also never saw it. My parents weren't made for each other. They were both orphans. And they made it up in front of each other. But I didn't see them happy. Not, not in the way so that's that what you do our relationships no, were. Normal. Yeah, I thought that you struggled. And then I realized that you were supposed to take talking about the pursuit of happiness. The pursuit of happiness extends to your relationships and what you allow. Absolutely. And why are you supposed to be arguing over small things all the time to the point that you're in breakdown and then you're only happy among when there's a lot of people in the room and you're not really relating to each other. Mm -hmm. We can do business because we greatly respected each other and, and I respected his mind and his creativity and his and his skills and, and I think, I don't think, I know that. I mean, I, I really love the man, but if you're not really getting along, then you're not able to be intimate. Right. You're not able to love the way you need to and an artist needs to be loved, but more mm -hmm. importantly, they have to be able to love. Right. There's a great need to extend the love mm -hmm. so you can have something to feed you. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, then you're lonely. I hear so many stories about people wow. who are in relationships. Oh, There's amen. no that intimacy. Was deep. Amen, girl. That was deep. Deep. for the people in the back. I don't want to. That was so good. That, that was, that was Too much gin and juice. So good. Artists, yeah, nah, artists, that was artists, artists, you know, so love. Nah, yeah. I never artists talked about that. Was so, no, really? no, and you know what? I appreciate you being so open about it. Well, no, I was embarrassed about it for a long time. That was good. That was good. What can I do? No, and you know what? When um, It's a blessing, like you said, to find someone who gets it, who who gets it when you're working in this business. But and you would expect that when you meet someone who's working in the same business as you, that they would get it. 
But a lot of times you can people I date guys in entertainment and they don't understand my the way I work. Like they don't understand it. Like if I have to go host a party, I'm a prostitute a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? And it's like any I feel like you should know the game. You know what I'm doing. You you know exactly what is what's going on. I just don't understand. Like that's that's a blessing to have somebody who gets it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh. Wow whatever i think yeah. that's the only that's the only i hope thing. you dump them i hope so too that <laughs> okay. i just hope god god sends me somebody who understands and who loves me for for everything that i am for everything i'll bring you to certainly the table. deserve it yeah did you a prize 100 percent. thanks guys yeah oh, this is true really though sweet mm-hmm. i love this conversation now, awesome. have, positive. We have you ever you regretted know. uh telling somebody something and wish you you wouldn't have told them that like you know how we sometimes we share with somebody and you're like, damn, I shared too much. I shouldn't have said all that. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I Yo. wish I had not had that gin and juice. See, GG, I get it now. This is a, this is a room of Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really here. I'm in, you know, underneath mermaid spell. Mm-hmm. So I did what I could. But what amazing. You, <laughs> you know, I used amazing. to be I used to be the most close in person of all times, you know. Um, my music was my only outlet, you know. If I felt the way about something, it was hard, thank you, for me to articulate it or get the message across without putting it in a song, you know. So that's why I think I released so much music early on in my career and even till now, because I just, it's easy for me to write it, you know. But as of lately, it's been a just a shift, you know, in my life to where I just feel like, the more I talk, the better. The more I can get off my chest, the better. So, you know, I kind of regret not feeling this sooner, you know? So for me, I'm just like trying to explode. Anytime it's like, yo, let's do an interview. They're like, we only going, you know, we'll make sure to keep it under 10. I'll be like, I ain't got nothing. I ain't tripping, you know, just because I'm just feeling so much liberation from opening up, you know, I've been having so much bottled in for me. It's, it's a new thing to just kind of let it all out. How is opening up for you today, Erica? Mm-hmm. It's a rough ride. <laughs> I I worry about it, and only because that you know it's not it's not that I I I, I, I like him. It takes a certain type of bravery to f- hope that people understand you past your words, because sometimes <clears throat> they can come out so clumsy, and it's not mm-hmm. what I meant to say, or mm-hmm. I don't want to hurt anybody mm-hmm. that I'm talking about, mm-hmm. because I have not only great respect, but I also want to protect their privacy and how they're seen in the world. And I haven't spent my life talking about myself at all. Right. Nobody wanted to know and nobody asked. And um, I guess ultimately I was fine with it. But this is a different generation. You guys are a different generation, all of you. But you got to love the fact that people you know, care so much about what you have to say. Really? Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. you know, they do. Good luck. But Every you time speak you really say well. something, it's like. Yeah, like you speak, Yeah, I love the way whoa. you articulate yourself. You speak yourself. well I and then you're funny. You so it's like yeah, a, yeah, it's yeah, well, like a double. Yeah. Yeah. You That's remind kinda, me of someone like, 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 the best part about it is that the best part about it is that we can tell it's so genuine. It's just mm-hmm. who you right. are and how you are. You know, and I she like, don't be doing this, shit, okay? Lip right. service, so just not keep all. In mind. And I didn't yeah. want to sign, but you know what? She was so lovely, and um, who? Angela. Don't play me. Don't <laughs> try to play me. Thank you, L'Oreal. <laughs> Something interesting, <laughs> and she was so lovely. I told her, I said I was, I worried about my appearance. I didn't want to seem boring or inauthentic. I spent my life in Arizona mm-hmm. and then came to Philadelphia and was in, I love Philly, but I was country girl, why you talk so proper and all that. And I didn't feel like that was the case at all, but I felt like an outsider inside a place where I should feel like an insider finally around black people. Mm-hmm. And then you get uh, to be an insider because somebody says, oh, you can act. And then you're pulled out again and isolated. Mm-hmm. And over and over again, I think people who are in the line, like you can understand, that you, that being called forward is sometimes the best and worst thing that could ever happen to you, mm. and and then you're all called forward to call, to talk about things that you've been told your whole life as an artist, and not just recently it's mm. been thing to talk about your, but that they shouldn't listen to, they shouldn't know about you, they should know about your characters, they should know about uh, mm. actresses <clears throat> don't even have an opinion politically, mm. and then we're in a time where if you don't speak up now. Right. It could be the life and death of the world. Right. And we're talking about ourselves and letting people to know that we're real people and that we're real businesses. And mm-hmm. this is not something that's a character, that I am a real person and that, you know, you should know me a little bit more. But does 
it offend the people who want to see me in a fantasy way, who kind of like that I'm a little off, you know, the mm -hmm. radar. Right. Well, Mike, I, I don't mean any harm. I'm just trying to be who I need to be for you yeah. right now. But people need yeah. to also understand that <laughs> you aren't your character. No, that's you like... Know, um, you aren't any of your characters. You are Erica. You're not Cousin Pam. You're not Megan. Yeah. And Pitbull, Will Smith you know? was... And Will Smith just came out and said the same thing. Like, he came from a time where um, celebrities, it, they needed to have that mystery. It, mm -hmm. They, they, right. they couldn't... Media they couldn't... But now he's on right. social media. They couldn't loves voice... It. It. Yeah, they couldn't <laughs> voice their opinions. It was very important for them to be private. That's what made them big stars because mm -hmm. nobody knew what was going nobody on with them. We live in a different time. Yeah, and he, and he said now he's on social media and it's just like a whole new world. Amazing. He right? loves it. Yeah, yeah. And everyone loves him on there. Nah, yeah. he's, he's really funny on there. Now, let like, me ask y'all something. Do you think that you guys were better at having sex when you were in your early 20s or now? Right now. I think I'm better now. I Ooh, feel like... You said that? I'm asking. That was me that said that. I think I'm said better now. Now. Gigi's yeah. better now. I, think I would now. say that... Um, well, you ain't wearing panties. So <laughs> a lot of let me tell y'all why I don't wear now. panties. I'm going to tell y'all why I don't wear panties. <laughs> panties are underpants, right? They're undergarments. <laughs> I was a stripper for most of my adult life. And my my underpants were my pants. So now mm. I don't want to wear them underpants. Mm. Like, you know? Over. over pants. Yeah, yeah. over putting them I'm on. over underpants. You're yeah, over <laughs> under your pants. Yeah. <laughs> like, from, and, and it's the elastic that goes um, in between your inner thigh, um, in between, you know, on the outsides of your vagina area. It irritates me. Um, under clothes yeah. so I just don't like to wear them and it's been so long of me not wearing them that when I have to wear them monthly it's kind of annoying monthly. but I know that I have to wear them monthly uh, monthly uh, mm -hmm. I have to wear we them we know right, what that right. part of the month mm -hmm. is for and then and then when I don't have to wear them I don't so like to wear them now if I'm if I have on a dress yeah, you should. or a short skirt <laughs> then I you know I'll wear them because I'm not just going to expose my vagina to the elements but tights jeans sweatpants I today feel like wearing I just don't wear them I feel like wearing panties keeps me like really fresh and dry all day. Yeah, I, I, I like have to wear nice I have a remedy for that too. Good. What's that? Oh, yeah, we do. deodorant. <laughs> Wait, wipes. Oh, do you, you put deodorant yeah. on your badge? No, like, no, 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 no. I, I put like deodorant on my inner what? thighs and in my butt crack. Wow. And your butt crack? My butt crack. I put deodorant on my butt crack. Because you can't thighs. use talcum powder anymore. You get cancer. No, yeah, you, you yeah. die. <laughs> it keeps you short, it keeps you fresh and dry. That's an old stripper trick also. But but you know, getting back to the question that you asked, I do feel like I'm better at sex now because the same shit I knew when I was 20, I know that shit still. I know new shit now. You get what I'm saying? So you got to combine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you the, learn from experience. Yes, yeah, experience. That's I, feel I feel like, like the I'm older better. the better. Like I probably was more wild girl. when I was younger though. See, no, not me. I, I actually feel like wild. the older I get, the better I get. Um, with the no, person Angela, that I'm comfortable with. Angela, I gotta with. agree with you. I feel like when I was younger, I was more wild. I could take a slap, a bite, a kick. No, punch. Jesus. <laughs> not a kick, not a kick. Damn. Not a kick. <laughs> a bop on the head. Just kidding. Kick you with my <laughs> neck. Man, I really love you. Kick you. <laughs> Kick you with my no. third leg. No, but I feel no. like I feel like I used to like it a little rougher when I was a kid and now um now I'm a little older and I'm like, chill, baby. Like, I probably used to have down. like steps like before Instagram. more when I was younger. Because be. then you can't, you gotta watch your face. They might hit you too hard. Yeah, I like, so I mean, Instagram I still like, well. I still like <laughs> the passionate. I, I still like the passion, you know, like I still like that, that passion and, um, you know, make obsessed when you're like, oh, you're, you've been so bad and you're a bad girl. I like, st I still like that, you know, but, um, <laughs> Not too long ago, I was drunk, and you know, you guys know I like a little slap here and there mm -hmm. sometimes, a little choke. Yeah, and I, we was having sex, and 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 then and the nigga choked me so hard. I was like, excuse me, this guy choked excuse me so hard. I was like, excuse me, I was like, ah! sir, <laughs> nah. took it past the limit, and I was drunk and everything, and I was like, you know what? I took his hand off of my throat, and he's <laughs> laughing, and I'm like, you know what? You're doing too much right you're doing like you're most. doing the most yeah. and he's like you know you like that and i'm like i'm tired i don't play with let's that choking <laughs> like because let's, that's let's the move problem forward. you go too far sometimes no i'm like, telling you it, that, it, that. It, that's how it's, uh, sorry that has happened you know, to me i think i think i'm a little i think i'm a little more of a square <laughs> now man right <laughs> no that's the thing no, that you I end up dead by mistake 
because yeah. they got into it and they come in and I you're was like, watching this. I was watching this. Movie. Erica looking like she don't get choked, <laughs> smacked, or nothing. She's Absolutely like, what is not. all this? No, she, I, I, was, um, I think she should choke someone. I have authorized. I have authorized. I have authorized. <laughs> Ain't nobody choking me. You I should just, choke someone, though. I think y'all enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, right His name is Trump. I didn't happen. No, I just feel like. When I was younger, I could take a little more pain. Now I'm like, I'm kind of rusty, right. man. I'm kind of like, rusty. I want to feel that good. That is adventurous. Bro. <laughs> I want to feel good. Like, make me tingle. Don't make me, you know, Cringe. twitch. I'm not going to say. I want to twitch. I want to tingle. I'm yeah. not going to say every night you need to wow and go crazy and all that. But on the nights when I have to bring that out, I can bring it out. Bring it out. Like, you can be passionate out, and do all that too. But like I said, that same, I done learned more tricks from 20 to today from when I was 20 years yeah, that's old. That's what I think. I think the experience is I just, talked uh, about one of them. Y'all and blew me up. It's educate you. Uh, people yeah, no, but I like, honestly think suck a dick in the back. No, but I honestly think um, <laughs> I honestly think having <laughs> <laughs> uh, her gin and juice? I, I have never I hope I can make the train. I have never yeah. done that either. And, I have. and it's very rare that y'all hear me say I, I have never did something like, sexual on this show because y'all like, know I tried this about it. I anything. tell you, I have so many DMs. that's like, girl, you just put me on. I was like, damn, y'all make Erica, me Erica, she's crazy. the only one in here. Eric, that's she's the only the one L'Oreal that sucks dick from the back. That's not all the time. Don't say it like this all the time. The only one that has I done do it. Variations of dick sucking position. It's got to be big. I'm trying to it do the visual. It has to be big. It has mean? to be able to to bend it back. Be long to, enough. Wow. Yeah, he got to have legs. Right? Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. Legs got to be open a little bit. He's cold. No more drinks for him. No, but I. You don't want to get the tip. I look. I don't know what's going on. That's why it's got to be big. If you only get in the tip, it's not big enough. The bartender is cutting Erica. <laughs> that sounds yeah. fabulous. Please cut me off. I did. And I don't understand what's going on. No, no but I feel like um, I feel like as I've gotten yeah, older. This happened, but the thing is, okay. when it's, oh, that means he got so he did it. It. But the thing is, when it's bent <laughs> backwards like that, though. Does Girl, I want to hear about this. Girl. I, I, I asked That's what him. I'm thinking. So the it's one like, particular guy. It's How is Dr. it? Seuss it's movie. Like, yeah. How is it? It's not that great. It's not that great. It's just you gotta look past the bent back part. You only, That's it, you it, only, you different. only like, you only like, lean back. You like, you like, you're enjoying it because it's never happened. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. what's like, this oh, going yeah. on? So that, and if you that outweighs it, the strength. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna lie. It takes a little bit of talent because you got to figure out how to do it right. Because remember, it's on the right. You just got to do it right. Yeah. Don't yes, make yes. him uncomfortable. You got. Well, maybe you can take his dick and like, turn butt. around. No. <laughs> she said she gonna put somebody dick in their own butt. Did you just no. say that? <laughs> it don't work like that. No. Okay, Negative. No. You got a neo curve like he was talking about. Oh my god. Erica, do you have any tips for us? <laughs> She's like, not no more. Look both ways before you cross the street. We took the left turn on out. I know that's right. I, I'm waiting for it to hear from Eric. We should have asked that first. You know, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Right. Well, so, I don't understand how a dick can roll back here and, and do all that. You know, I don't know if that's create. I mean, you know, you know, uh, you know the, the man don't sound like he deserve all that. I mean, <laughs> I don't yeah, understand. What did he do to deserve all that? It is what it is. I don't know anybody wild. who can do that kind of trick. <laughs> It works when they, Baby you know, Jimon Huntsu, I don't understand it, but whatever. <laughs> Eric, more if, if let's hear from you. <laughs> the back strain. What's the what's the question? We off, <laughs> we off the back any strain. Tips. I'm I don't still know either. The back strain. No, we, any tips. What's the any derivative? Tips. Oh yeah, the Erica. tips. Erica's oh, the tips. Erica's clutching her pearls right now. She yeah, she's the tips. <laughs> <laughs> that means uh, do you I have tips? Give us some tips? She's clutching her pearls. No, I don't have any tips. I wish I did. Here's a tip. He said he got one. Two words. More head. More head. More, more what? More head. Oh, oh, I don't need that. More head. More head. More head. More head. More head. More God head. bless you. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that tip is already given. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> it just, given. the thing is, it does so much. Listen. It's like you relax. We going to give y'all guys that same tip. <laughs> oh, head. that's okay. real. Because it does so much. That. There you go. Can Respect you the, the box. Script. Are you okay. reciprocating that more head? Is more the question. head goes for you too? Easy okay, call. it's a give and take. All right, it's okay, there we go. Near a double. Standard. But what would you rather do? Don't have fear of a black vagina. What? Ooh. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> I heard, all I heard was black vagina. <laughs> 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 what did you say? Black 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 vagina. Vagina. I said fear of a black vagina. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this shirt. Oh, exactly. fear, of black exactly. vagina. fear of a black vagina. No fear, no fear. I'm definitely a person that's like, yeah, I'm a romantic, so it's like. 
Let's go crazy. Is it the same time? Do you like to do the same time? The same like time is fun time? for a sec. I'm not a big 69 person. I want to focus on what I'm going to I'll be yeah. quitting. <laughs> and I want to focus on what I'm doing. 69 is overrated. It is. Super if we do a 69, you're definitely going to be the one on like the The only time I enjoy 69 yeah. is when my tongue stop. is somewhere. They call, that a, um, <laughs> they call that a 68 and I owe you one. She is. I stop. I do that yeah. all the time. Like I'll start whatever, yeah. whatever, and then when I start feeling like it feel real good, oh yeah, portion of the sixty nine is over. Now it's just you. Yeah, I hate when it's yeah, like a, you when you gotta do it. Come to the turn. Here was the turn. I, I actually you do have a tip. I just realized. Oh, 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 I have a tip. Oh, stop the press. Stop the press. Oh, tip. And this is real. This is real. And I'm telling. This is the ghost of Christmas future talking at you. <laughs> All right. No doubt. Uh, stay in shape. Yeah, oh, that's okay. A good tip. Watch your diet. Mm -hmm. Because the truth is, it can affect your sex life. Right. Mm -hmm. Gas. All sorts of other things that come up. Yes. No, that's real. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. No, and mm -hmm. when you eat, it affects understand. the way your vagina smells and tastes. Exactly. Taste. Yes. And then people don't want to taste guys. too. That's right. And the jizz. That's right. And if you don't want no funky out, spunk, they are usually much more receptive and much more aggressive yes. in a way that's very sexual. More stamina. When they don't, and it's more stamina. Yeah. Same with women. So I believe that it, it, when people start to think it's dying off, that they should get into an exercise program and start to think about what they eat. Mm -hmm. And 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 mm -hmm. that's a great that. tip. No I doubt. Mean, juice oh, for life. Thank you, Jesus. Nice. Thank you. Too. If it's nice that and tight, I'm going to get right. Oh, ooh. Oh, ooh. What song, <laughs> song is that? What song Notes that? from Compton. <laughs> Notes from Compton. That's the name of the album. He said that if it's nice like and tight, he's going to get right. Notes from Compton. Notes from Compton. <laughs> Lick okay. it right. Next. Next song. Next record. I'm with you. Hello. God bless you. Erica, now that you're about to be single, are you dating? I am, I am, I yes, am. Yes, yes, ma'am. I appreciate I love that. it too. Yeah, no, it's lovely. I mean, you know, it, it, look, I'm not necessarily good at it. I'm somebody hit on me, and it's you know, I'm immediately like, <laughs> I'm the worst person to hit on. You Why? just not like what's your well, because I don't have any game. You know, guys, just you know, I don't even like to titter tat. You know, I, I as but but I I I appreciate it, and I talk in a way that I think throws people because I'm a little sort of Aspergers. <laughs> but it is what it is, and I mean that in a good way. Like you know, like so, um, it's it's a wonderful thing. Amazing. No, I oh, feel like man. it's hard for me to date too. That's why I hate when I have a breakup and then I got to start dating again because I'm such a forward person. Like I don't like to beat around the bush. I don't really like you know the fake shit. So it's like I don't believe anything you say already, and <laughs> I only know you for five minutes. Guilty to like, proven innocent. You know what I mean? Just cut to the chase. Let's, exactly. What are, like, what are we gonna do? What, what are, are we gonna get married? No. no. Okay. Bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. So is, <laughs> it a relief, is it a relief for you, Eric, like to not have to worry about stuff like that no more? Wow. He's been Such married a for relief. a minute. Yeah. yeah, it's been over three years now, and God bless. I'm telling you, I really, I think being with the right person is important. You know what I mean? Um, I forced a lot of relationships. Like, I just tried to keep working it out a lot of times. And it was just always tough, but now it's just no effort, you know? It's it's really good. We both respect each other. We both are attracted to each other, you know what I mean? And I don't know. I, we don't argue. And that has a lot to do with how much. Not one argument ever? We don't really argue. Like, we might talk, but... I. It's not much to argue That's about. Right. No, but good. you know what? It's so important to hear something like that because uh, so many people think that when you're in a relationship, you have to argue. Like, right. that's what's normal. That's part of it. You know, and it's okay to have disagreements. You, you I can't yeah, yeah, agree with your friends, cool. you know, all the time. Like, you're, you're not supposed to agree with your lover all the time. Mm -hmm. But to have sick arguments all the time, like, that's just not normal. It's people not. think that part it's of... Not. You know what? I really feel like part of being in a relationship is knowing how to effectively disagree. Because we all are going to disagree at some point. But how do you handle that? And that's how you can really tell how you feel about a person. When you know how to disagree and be like, okay, we can disagree and we know how to make it happen so that we're not hating forward. each other and going yeah. crazy. And communicate. And I know it sounds so corny when people be like, oh, communication is key. <laughs> but the real truth is like when you open up and really get to the point where you could talk to the person that you're in a relationship with and you could be honest. Like, there's nothing more and nothing better than something like that where mm -hmm. you can really just be like, this is what I don't like, this is what I like, or mm -hmm. I need you to do something like this instead of whatever, whatever. instead mm -hmm. of when you holding it in. You know what I mean? And that's when the arguments start because you really holding it in and you feel like, oh, God, I hate this because he always do ah-ha. 
but you never say it. And mm-hmm. then it builds up, and then that's when y'all start hating each other. Yeah, to build and up. Stuff like that. You gotta communicate. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Erica, how do you like guys to approach you now? Can they be like forward? What do you want them to do? Like, how does somebody get your attention? Smart. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Just be smart. Have, read a newspaper. Uh, have, you know, be, be curious. Mm-hmm. Be uh, open. Don't be so rigid. Um, um, be um, animated. Don't worry about how you come off. You know what I mean? Life is too short. What if and they're a fan of yours? Is that weird? Huh? What if they're like a fan of yours? Like, Well, I hope they are. Like they own a the I mean, box DVD <laughs> set. <laughs> I hope they are fans. <laughs> no, no, no. I, it's, not, it's not like that at all. No, no, not at all. I meet plenty of people with no idea who I am. The thing is that it, I just think that I think that people present themselves through often many insecurities as opposed to the, 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 the positive things about them. What people, what, sorry, excuse me. Media can prime yourself prime people to want to play this game or mm-hmm. present themselves as a false narrative of themselves. And it's just, you know, or it's too much. Mm-hmm. You, you, you come in with everything at, at, at one time and then people don't get a chance to sort of just take you in and, and just, it's okay, it's all good. Hmm. So, uh, before we get out of here, I just want you to plug your media company so people know what you have going on. Cause oh. I know you guys are looking for projects right now. That's true. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. I have a color. Uh, it's called Color Farm Media, mm-hmm. and um, we're trying to. Okay, a lot of people are talking about in- inclusivity, and what it is to be diverse, and it almost to ad nauseum to the point where people don't. It doesn't mean anything, but it really does. Representation matters. You talk about people saying they might have gone to law school because they saw a Max, mm-hmm. or um, even the fact that you see Max with the braids is because I saw Whoopi Goldberg do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I wasn't doing it inside of a vacuum. Representation matters because you look at Black Panther that is now 1.3 and has surpassed Titanic. Mm-hmm. And it matters that suddenly we're seen from Africa as kings and queens, mm-hmm. as opposed to, can you please spare a dime and help those poor Negroes across the ocean who are dying in the sand and in the wind. Um, That changes how people see us. They will shoot down black men in the middle streets and and hold hostage black women who are, the, by the way, as a population, are the most going into prisons nowadays uh, with no, um, um, no thought to the end game because they don't see us in their dreamscape. They don't see us being aspirational. But... It you it you it you it you stop for a second and think. I'm shooting down um, T'Challa. <laughs> you know, right, seriously, right, let's yeah. be real. And it matters because the whole time we've been have this narrative around 48 hours mm-hmm. and what we um, the the sort of lowest version of how you could see a human being as being problematic. Mm-hmm. So I think that Color Farm, going back to Color Farm Media, there's all these great voices, writers, uh, performers people who see the world in a different way that have never had a bridge to what Holly, how Hollywood finances film and television. So like Def Jam and or Motown, there are people or corporations or places that should create a bridge. Mm-hmm. And so at Color Farm, we're looking for you. We're looking for people who, who have something to say who probably have something in the drawer that they thought nobody would pay attention because they didn't have the agent or they have the manager or the representation to get there. But now I think the world is looking for you. And if not, we're going to create a space. Right. But we're also doing it in a way that's innovative because there's all this sort of new technology with blockchain and cryptocurrencies. So we can go around um, uh, the white male filter that is still sort of rejecting or accepting a narrative, whether it's Netflix or Hulu, but it's still around their algorithm, mm-hmm. and that's wrong. Right. Black people have never been on anybody's algorithm. You would have never got Stevie Wonder, Diana Ross, right. or uh, Marvin Gaye if Barry Gordy hadn't created Motown. Mm-hmm. The same with the whole rap game. There's all these amazing, and by the way, not just talented people, world builders who literally re- re- retrained our minds around music and created a different backbeat, but there was, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the whole music business sort of shifted. So that's what we're trying to be for the moving image. Mm-hmm. All right, good. So let's make sure everybody goes to mm-hmm. colorfarmedia.com. Thank you. Yes. I appreciate it. And Eric, you have an album out right now. Yes. Just dropped the album. It's called Easy Call. Mm-hmm. Um, it's very sexy. 
Very he sexy. Loves our legs. Very sexy. Mm-hmm. The first song on the album is called Legs. Mm-hmm. So that just <laughs> gives you an idea. I wanted to try to do um, R&B that was the R&B that was missing. That people, when yes. people say, when people right. say R&B is dead, I want to write the album just for them. That's perfect. <laughs> just for them. So R&B lovers out there, it's 15 songs. It's all, you know, original songs. And I think it's, my best work yet and i've done a lot of work that's good and i really just feel like this is it's like all the songs that you know i've worked on over the years and not put out because you know i felt like maybe i needed to be signed to a major label so they could be pushed the proper way and i didn't want them to go over people's heads or you know just get missed under the radar it's being like so what i love it and I'm gonna just put it out because the world needs it, regardless if I get the gratification or not. It just needs to be out. Awesome. Songs are really good. Give I just asked you who you were, your R&B heroes. I'm just asking. Give them, yeah, you know, it was so. interesting today. We was having a conversation, talking about like top five R&B artists right before we came over here, and I just had to break it down into the artists albums mm-hmm. that I know, you know, because there's a lot of artists out there, but I have to go by the albums just because I'm a, you know, body of work type of guy. And, you know, people like, of course, Michael Jackson and mm-hmm. Brandy with Full Moon and Jagged Edge with J.E. Heartbreak. Mm, that was my and Jodeci. Jodeci, Prince. of course, of course. And, you know, Usher, Confessions, Tank, mm-hmm. Sex, Love, love and Pain. Tank, mm. Tank, mm. that album. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my version of those, but in the way that it needs to be articulated into the new generation. Into today. Yeah, that's dope. And you're a fire writer, because like Thank you, you you write for everybody. And have Even my dad writing. be loving the songs you write. My oh, dad I. <laughs> he put me on to that Chris Brown song you wrote. He came to the crib. He was the first person that played it for us. My dad he was like, was you like, heard this song before? Song. <laughs> you talking about Fine China? Fine China. I knew you was, because yeah, that one like, is like. He's Chinese. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe that's why. I didn't think about that. That's kind of just because that yeah. one is the most like oh, I love your dad. Player. He's you know, great. So, like, I love him. Shout out, like, Shout out to Pops. Shout out to Misty. Yo, he put us on. I ain't, well, he put me on. She might have had already heard. That's dope. But That's he put dope. me on. Said, you know? That's dope. Yeah, so yeah, man. Easy call out now. The single GOAT is out. Video with Tiana Taylor and Wale. It's out. I appreciate Check you coming, out. Erica. He heard you were going to be here. He really wanted to come meet yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, childhood. Thank That's you what so I said. Much. I know you. Well, we, you know, we're locked in time, Eric and Erica. Exactly. You know, there's a conqueror name. Oh, yeah? Tell Absolutely. me a little bit about the protector what of their people. Uh, I like that. I never, <laughs> I never knew that. Good luck with that. Thank He's you. the protector of something I, I, else. I don't pay pee. attention to it at all. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> It's Good. been a pleasure. Thank you I'm so, so much. Glad. Thank, you, Thank you so much. Thank you you can take that gin and juice with you. That's yeah, for you. Well, like, you know, gin hello on hello. the subway. Thank <laughs> you. Imagine seeing Erica on the subway. No, I, would Every be, day. I would say something for sure. I'd be like, Salve. <laughs> you would say, Salve. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nice. People just usually wink at me. Oh. All right. Lip service, yeah. Erica Alexander and Eric Bellinger.